My name is Tara, and today I'm going to talk about how to start contributing to Kubernetes when you have a full-time job. So before I start, I'd like to tell you guys a little bit about my background. So I started contributing to Kubernetes as a hobbyist last year in October, and later on I became a member in January this year, and right now I work full-time uh, with the IBM Open Source Development Team on Knative, and it's honestly the best job I have. So if any of you guys want to follow my path, like eventually kind of contribute to open source um, projects as a full-time job, then I think this talk will be very helpful to you. So things to get you started, um, you need to obviously know Git and Golang, but it's not really a prerequisite. Like for me, I didn't know Golang, so it's an awesome co opportunity for you to learn, and that's a great book that you can check out. And obviously, the, you need to sign the contributor license as well as the official guide for the new contributors. So just to start out, like how to pick your first issue. There are obviously tags you can use, um, as Brian um, mentioned, that there's the good first issue tag. But a lot of times, because a lot of people want to start contributing, those issues will be taken right away. So they're super popular. A lot of times, if you cannot find any issue like that to work on, then it's really helpful to search for to-dos in the code. And there are more than, I looked like, two, three hundreds of to-dos. And it's also a great way for you to learn the code base. So I would keep a list of all of the potential things that you can um, like work on and spend one to two hours to assess the technical difficulty of each one of them. So if it's an actual issue, then please comment on the issue to call dips. And when you're working on an issue, a lot of times, even if it's a good first issue or help wanted, a lot of times people make mistakes. They might misestimate the technical difficulty of an issue. So if you do get stuck, don't uh, feel free to reach out to the issue creators, and as well as writing unit tests and test them locally first. So um, I would say the expectation is two weeks for your initial pull request. And it might take much longer to merge, obviously. Um, and so if you get stuck, you can obviously reach out to the issue creators directly, or you can join the relevant Slack channels. So SIG stands for Special Interest Group. So depending on like what the uh, areas that the issue you're working on touches on, you can join those groups and ask for help in those channels. And I also attended the KubeCon North America last year in Seattle, and one of the best things that I went to was the uh, speed networking mentee session, where I met over like 10 contributors in one hour, and they gave me really helpful advice on how to grow in the open source community. Um, and also there's the community forum for contributors. Um, so one of the most difficult thing is obviously time management. So I use a tool called Toggle, T-O-G-G-L. It's not a sponsor plug, but it's a really helpful tool for you to have a glance of what your time has been spent on. And you can also tag them with different things such as cube, like issue investigation and actually working on it and testing. So um, another thing that you need to do is to kind of have that career conversation with your manager. So a couple of questions that you can ask are, is Kate's used by your company or your team? And would it be helpful for your team to you know, have additional knowledge around how Kubernetes is implemented. So even if your answer is no for either of those two questions, which was my case, um, but it's always helpful to keep sharing your knowledge with your teammates just for like software engineering practices. And here are some additional resources if you like to take pictures. And that's it for my talk. Thank you. <laughs>